Good afternoon, folks. Let me just say, on behalf of the small mountain community of Sisters, Oregon, how happy I am to be here attending this celebration for Millard. Millard's vision continues to impact our town, where just over 40 families have now become new homeowners. When I think of Millard Fuller, I think of his voice. <laughs> Joyful, articulate, and deeply personal. His vision, I think as we all know, has transformed America and many parts of the world. But right now, today, I, I'd just like to talk about how his life has impacted mine. I grew up in a Habitat for Humanity home. When I was 10, When I was 10, my family moved into this new house, and I remember planting apple trees in the front yard with both of my sisters. We left behind a house where, in the wintertime, ice would build up on the insides of the windows, and where mold would grow on the walls. Now, today, well, not today, but in a few months, I'll be graduating a doctor from Harvard Medical School. Thank you so much. This, this past year, I've spent time working in HIV care in San Francisco. I worked in primary care on the Zuni Reservation in New Mexico. And I've delivered babies in South Africa. Like Millard, I look forward to the day when all God's children will be free. Free, free in the possession of a home of a quality home, and with access to high-quality health care. <laughs> Having a well-built home is transformative, and for me, it was enabling. When there is stability in housing, there is stability in communities. Families who have experienced poverty who understand deeply the meaning of this word, are freed. They are free to engage more deeply in their communities and to build them up. It is possible to rise above the struggle to get ahead and instead engage in the struggle for justice. <laughs> Children, who are raised in an affordable, decent home, the ones that Millard built, have a better shot of going to college, going to medical school, and other professions. They grow up, and using these skills, they become, they build part of this great kingdom where justice reigns. So today I say, thank you, Millard, Thank you for that house, and thank you, Millard and Linda, for that piece of freedom. Thank you. Thank you.